The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against the house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mayong Udo, Kanatong Tanan. Brothers and sisters, we are normally afraid of spirits, especially if they are evil. And perhaps rightly so, for aside from the fact that we know so little about them, left on our own, these spirits seem to have the power to easily overcome us and to take over our bodies, as is demonstrated or shown through the many cases of demonic possessions that we have heard over the years. And so whenever we experience anything that has a slight resemblance of the presence of these spirits, we normally feel afraid and we speculate, we tend to speculate that what we experienced may indeed be an encounter with the supernatural. Today, however, we are once again reminded that Jesus is far and he is in fact infinitely more powerful than even the most powerful of these spirits. He is more powerful than Beelzebul, than Satan himself, simply because he is God. And because he is divine, and that he is always with us, being the Emmanuel, there is no reason for us to fear these evil spirits, no matter how real they are, no matter how powerful they may be. For we have a God who loves us and is always ready to protect us against these mysterious and powerful beings. Brothers and sisters, we are in the month of October, which, as we all know, is the month of the Holy Rosary. And I would like, I would just like to take this opportunity to say a few things about this prayer. You see, this simple and yet a profound devotion to our Lord and to our Blessed Lady through the Holy Rosary has borne countless miracles over the centuries. From the time when it was introduced in the Church, this devotion has become a very powerful tool against all kinds of evil. In fact, even the well-known Saint Dominic de Guzman himself, you know, he was said to have 
used this effectively not only in his preaching but also in his encounters with evil spirits. Today, I would like to invite all of us to cultivate our devotion to the Holy Rosary. It is one of the most powerful instruments that we have not only against evil spirits, but more importantly, in leading us to authentic conversion. Amen. <laughs>